The DJI Phantom quadcopters are designed not only for RC related flying fun, but for capturing aerial videography or photography. One variant of the Phantom 2 comes complete with the 3 axis Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal, which we'll be taking a more detailed look at in the next video. This gimbal itself comes complete with an additional accessory. Welcome to IFTIS Tech Corner where in this part of our DJI Phantom journey we'll be installing the DJI Anti-Interference Board. In order to solve some of the issues early adopters faced with their Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal, DJI released an updated board that users are required to install between the gimbal and the Phantom itself. It's called the DJI Anti-Interference Board and its uses are somewhat unclear. Some state it helps reduce vibration issues known as Jello, others state it helps with FPV or first person view setups, reducing the interference between the transmitter and the receiver. Whatever the reason, it's a good idea to install the board when using the Zenmuse H3 3D gimbal on a Phantom 2. The package is typically included with the gimbal itself. Alongside the anti-interference board, users receive some double-sided 3M sticky pads and an 8-pin extension lead. The board sits between the gimbal and the Phantom itself. This grey 8-pin ribbon cable is used to connect into the gimbal which will sit at the front of the craft on these threads. Simply loosen the cable, connect into this side of the anti-interference board, bearing in mind it can only sit one way so no need to worry about orientation. Finally connect the included extension cable to the opposite side and that's really all there is to it. Users are able to secure the board down to the bottom of the craft using the supplied 3M sticky pad. We now have the connection for the gimbal with the board installed in between. Those after a neater installation are able to install the board within the actual Phantom itself. Being slightly more involved and a little more fiddly, it does provide a neater overall external look to the craft. To get started, remove the Phantom battery along with all four propellers. Using the driver that was supplied with your Phantom itself, remove the four crosshead screws located at the end of each propeller arm, being very careful not to strip the heads of any screws. Finally, using a 2mm hex bit, remove a further three hex screws from each arm. Take care not to remove the four hex screws located here, since these hold the motors in place and do not need to be removed for opening up your Phantom. With all four screws moved from each arm, place the Phantom on its legs and if installed, cut the stickers neatly along each leg to avoid having to peel them off. This will also help later with orientation when reinstalling the cover back into place. Carefully remove the top cover, taking care not to pull away too far. The GPS module is built into the top cover and a GPS cable needs to be removed from the main board in order to free the top completely. The cable can be pulled upwards with ease. With the top cover now removed, locate the anti-interference board mounting position. Although it can be installed on either side of the board, the DJI recommended position is on this side here, directly beneath the NASA controller. In order to do this, we first need to feed the 8-pin gimbal ribbon cable through the opposite hole in the landing gear. Locate the end of the cable and carefully cut the cable tie holding the ribbon cable in place before removing it from the mainboard altogether. Notice how it's clearly labelled Zen Muse to avoid any confusion when later reinstalling the cable. Fold the connector into a 90 degree angle in order to feed it through the hole on the underside of the Phantom and repeat the process to feed it through the hole on the opposite side. To install the anti-interference board itself, remove the two crosshead screws from these two locations. Place the board into position. Notice how the board has been perfectly shaped to fit into place one way. And replace the screws to secure the board down. Using the small extension cable included with the anti-interference board, secure one end back into the board port labelled Zenmuse and the other end onto the side of the anti-interference board. The cable length is a perfect fit with a tight tolerance, although may need feeding under other cables. 
Finally, install the previously moved longer gimbal cable into the opposite side of the anti-interference board and pull any slack back through. Installation of the board is now complete. It is important to maintain the correct orientation when reattaching the top cover back into place, so line up the stickers previously cut. Before installing the top cover, remember to reattach the GPS cable and lower the cover so it sits neatly back into place. Loosely reinstall all screws, remembering to install the crosshead screws at the very end of each propeller arm and the hex screws in the remaining three locations before giving them all a final tighten. Secure the gimbal cable using the previously removed tape if required. Installation complete. Join me in the next video as we continue our DJI Phantom 2 journey by installing and taking a close look at the performance of the DJI Zenmuse 3-axis H3 3D gimbal.